little princesses and princes, I am Chloe. It's been a while since I've talked to you guys. I mean, my sister's been uploading videos, but I've just been so, so busy with school and all that crap, so I'm so sorry I missed you guys. I really did. I miss talking to you guys. I mean, I'm talking to a camera right now, but some of you guys will see this, so if you see this, then video hug. I missed you guys so much. I know it's only been like a week, but I just, I really like talking to you guys, so... You guys are my friends. Seriously. Anyway, I think this is like the fourth or fifth vlog video and I do have a couple things to talk about. First off, quick thing. I'm so sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I am in on my filming on my dresser and I have a mirror behind the camera. You guys can't see it, but I keep looking at my reflection to see how I look in this video. But like when I look, I'm not looking at the camera, so I'm really sorry if I don't look at the camera a lot. I'm not trying to- I'm trying to look at the camera, but it's- it's difficult, so... Just a heads up. You don't have to tell me that in the comments, I already know. Okay, so... As you guys know, we are at 700 some odd subscribers, almost 800, and a thousand's coming pretty soon, so... What should I do? When we reach a thousand subscribers, what do you guys want me to do? I'll do pretty much everything and anything you want me to do. Post a comment right now letting me know what I should do when we reach a thousand subscribers for you guys. Please make it legal and safe where I like, because I want to make more videos. I don't want to die when I reach a thousand subscribers. That'd be really tragic, so. Please don't do that to me. But anyway, what should we do? A thousand subscribers, it's a big deal to me. I've been on YouTube for like six months, is it? I don't know. It's visible on about me on my channel, so you can check that out and tell me in the comments exactly how many, or I'll just do it myself. But like six months, and this is great. I really never expected to even get past a hundred, and like this close to 800 thing is amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. And I feel like I've been slacking off for every for the subscribers that have joined in this channel because I haven't been doing any videos saying thank you for these subscribers. But the, I'm really sorry, but I've been so busy and I want to do something really extravagant when we get to a thousand subscribers. So post a comment letting me know what we should do and you guys will get your video as soon as you reach a thousand subs. I'm not doing it until we reach a thousand subs though. Otherwise, what is the point? I laugh like the Wicked Witch of the West. Get over it. So, I have a question for you guys. Where do you think I am from? Seriously, am I American? Am I Swedish? Am I Mexican? What am I? Don't say white, that's obvious. The Seriously, where am I from? Post down in the comments. If you get it right, you get a shout out in the next video. Natalia, you can't post a comment. I already told you. I know you watch my channel. Don't do it. You'll ruin the contest. That was weird. <laughs> I'm about to fall apart. Already are we there? So I guess that's the start. I'm just a children's story for all the girls and boys. Oh, take me down and put me back together. Oh, the joy now. I hang from all the wires and I swing on to who's ever watching us on the night so I can take on by out of you. I don't like this. Y'all give up on trying to fix me every day. I may not have a grudge against the one they hate, but that will not stop me today. Oh no, camera! I wonder if it's a scientific impossibility for me to be serious or dramatic. Nope. I don't think so. I'm gonna photoshop some pictures so then I at least look dramatic. I'll probably just put them in black and white and tell you they're dramatic. Those are my skills.
my skills are impeccable. Guess what? Guess. Guess. You can't guess? You're a video? Dang it! I'll just tell you. I am writing a book! I'm writing a book! It's called Ashes. It's on Wattpad. Uh, yeah, I have a Wattpad, by the way. Didn't tell you any of you guys. One second. Getting on my phone for a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be. Okay. Yeah, see? Wait, wait, wait till it loads. Until I click it. Keep waiting. We're waiting on you, Wattpad. So, here's my book. It's called Ashes. I wanted to read you guys a chapter. The, the chapters are not very long. They're a thousand words, but it's long if you are 13 and you're trying to write a book. So, yeah. I'm going to read you guys chapter one. And if you guys are interested, my Wattpad name is... Oh, what is it again? Uh, same as my channel name, Princess1275. I have two followers, and I'm following two people. You can guess. You can come to an obvious conclusion there. Chapter 1. Fear of this, the boy yelled. I don't want to live this way anymore. His brother, Asuka, turned towards him. So what? he asked. You can't change it, so get used to it, Ayumu. Ah! I want to disappear! I want to die! Ayumu screamed. Asuka walked out of the room. His cherry red hair was the last thing Ayumu saw of him before his brother vanished into the pitch black hallway. Ayumu looked around the room. The walls were once white. The floor was once cream. The furniture used to be perfectly arranged and clean. Now it was different. The walls were painted in dust, with finger and claw marks running up them. The floor was now black from the ashes that had never been swept away, and the furniture was falling to pieces. The fire was Ayumu's fault, and he knew it. Every day it haunted him. He could still hear all their voices. They were screaming the names of their loved ones, screaming last words, screaming for help, or just plain screaming. He could remember everything they said, but specific words kept circling around him in the back of his mind, threatening to break free and haunt him once more. Girls and boys, burning toys, the voice had told him, burn to ashes, the wood for it smashes. Beneath the men and women, flames are pulling them in. The girl paused and glared at him. For a moment, her expression turned to horror as the flames bursted up through the floor in a cylinder around her. The last words she told him were that she wished he would never die and that he would forever live in unrelenting guilt for what he had done and fear of his own reflection, for, was he, for he was a monster at heart. The poor girl had gotten what she wished for. Ayumu and Asuku were forever trapped now, unable to die, unable to escape what Ayumu had done. Thousands of years had passed. Every day was just a sad remi reminder. Ayumu walked over to the beat-up, dust-covered bed and sat down. He brought his feet up to the edge of the bed and buried his head in his knees. Hours passed, but Ayumu didn't move. He didn't need to, nor did he wish to. In fact, Ayumu would have loved it if he had never had to move again. He wanted to die. He wanted to die right then and there. His lifeless body would rot away like the room he sat in. He would never have to hear those awful thoughts again. Asuka walked down the dark hallway. His every step stirred up a bit of ash, sending it swirling into, the bl into black mist that disappeared into the darkness. Asuka had kept a grudge against Ayumu ever since the day of the fire. He knew it wasn't Ayumu's fault, but he wanted to blame someone besides the one behind it. He had loved her and trusted that her intentions were for the better, but now he began to doubt himself. She died that day, but it seemed like that was what she wanted. When Asumu found her, she was nearly dead, and her once perfect olive skin was covered in burn marks, and her beautiful hazel eyes were barely open. Emerald! he had yelled to her. She never did answer. Emerald was dead. Off in the next room, something caught Asuka's eye. A figure with the white glowing wings that had appeared to be burning at the tips had appeared for a split second. 
Maybe I'm just seeing things, Asuka thought. No, he was sure he saw it. Something or someone was there. Asuka walked carefully into what was left of the room that he had seen the figure in. He looked around the blank walls and blackened floor. Hello? he asked out loud. The room was dead silent for about thirty seconds. Hello there, the voice said. Miss me, Asuku? A girl with olive skin, dark brown hair, and hazel eyes appeared next to Asuku. She seemed to be glitching in and out of reality. Tiny bits and pieces of her were disappearing into a glowing blue speck, and then reappearing as what it replaced. Asuku stared into her beautiful eyes. Hello, the girl asked. Asuku, can you hear me? Hello? Asuku whispered something quietly. Emerald? I know I saw her. What are you saying? The girl asked, getting rather annoyed at Asuku. Asuku didn't answer. He just stared into her eyes and remained frozen in place. The girl's facial expression turned to a heartbroken and disappointed. He can't, she said quietly. He can't see me. The girl looked into Asuku's icy blue eyes. She remembered the last time she saw him. He was yelling her name. His red hair matched the burning flames around him. If she had to die, she wanted to die with him around. But as she watched the tears roll down his face, she wanted to stay with him forever. She wanted to let him know that everything was going to be fine in the end. But she couldn't. All Emerald could do was lay there and die. She had wanted to see him ever since, and now that she could, he couldn't see her. A tear dripped down her cheek. I'm so 